Yeah, so starting Battlefield, Dill loves this stage. I can't, uh, I don't think he'll ever, like, turn down going to Battlefield. Uh, and I know that Venue is going to like this stage, you know. So many different areas to mix up your landing and stuff is just crazy. Uh, when you have so much speed, you can just mix up all dimensions of movement by landing or falling through platforms. And, like, you just have, like, extended follow-ups and stuff like that. You know, it's something that, uh, like, something Rob can also take care of, uh, take advantage of, but, like, in a different light because he's not as fast. Uh, it's a different type of style, you know. Okay, so we're already going like blow for blow here. Uh, Venny was already ready to seal out that stock, and uh, Rob as heavy as Snake, so almost didn't die. Well, almost died off the top, but didn't do it. And uh, Dill trapping his landing with an F smash and taking out the first stock. But then Dill doing some sloppy stuff, and uh, Venny ain't having any of that. So we just back zero to zero. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's actually really funny. That how did he like? He made it past him because I guess he's like squeezed under him. Because like when Dill went for the down air, like he like basically left a window for him to pass through, and then it like blew him off, which is actually pretty funny. Hi, Marshall. Whoa! All right, we going from coast to coast here. Come on, you couldn't react to that, or is it really like does Rob really just not have the movement for that? Because I believe it. Still trying to recover high, Venya reading it and like covering a lot of space with those huge frog jumps. Oh man, I actually uh, stopped keeping track of the gyro. Covered the roll. Uh, it took Dill out of a precarious situation. Could have went really bad for him, but now we're just back in neutral. All right, doing some stage control. I like this. Scary. All right, yeah, Dill just gonna try and throw it down, but didn't do it quick enough. I also, I don't think the gyro had much life in, left in it or something like that. And uh, yeah, he was just able to erase it and then erase him. Peace out. I don't even know how many frames he was on screen. He went so fast. Uh, give me the guesses. I'm gonna go for a uh, two. <laughs> he was just like you deleted. All right, all right. So Dill's doing a pretty good job of like he's playing pretty. Oh my! Is that no, no, no! <laughs> wow. You saw that Dill actually wasn't ready for that and reacted to when, oh, oh, this is working out. Oh, this is working out well. Look at this. He, like, was just like, he didn't think he was going to knock him that far when he hit him. Boom. And he went, see, he went for the shield and he was just like, oh, all right, I'll just move forward. And he caught the roll. Oh, my God. That's nuts. All right, well, good stuff to Dill, taking game one. Uh, Dill got rid of FD and Town City. Understandable. Those, FD's definitely Greninja's best stage. Uh, and Town is kind of like the other FD. Uh, I could see, but Dill allowing Kalos, you know, he does get, gain uh, some stuff on that platform. You know, it gives him a help in some recovery. You know, I don't know if Greninja can up smash that platform because that platform's a bit higher. And if he can, it's just harder in general. So, you know, it's gonna be tough. Um, you know, what Venya gains from this stage is that, yes, it's still pretty FD-esque, and because it's a pillar stage, he can get auto turnaround by clinging to the stage for a moment, and then like rise up on a back air coming back. Oh. So he hit him pretty far, wasn't really able to like do anything off of that, and Dill was just able to just, add, just air dodge back to it. Pretty, pretty regular stuff. 
Still, you know, really early, uh, even percents here. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, the other thing that's nice about it is like, you already know that Venny is the type of player to down air all the way off stage. So what's pretty nice about a pillar stage is that it limits how far they can go. You know, they can't go past the ledge. So if they end up going against the wall, he's just like, sup. Kalos is still a big stage. And you see that many up. He's like, uh, he was respecting his recovery from the bottom because he knows that Dill is going to do that dumb stall and then I'm going to jump up and do it like not, like it's not the first time we've seen it, not the billionth time we've seen it. And uh, yeah, he just kept weaving in and out. Dill went in, thought he was slick, and he got cut for it. Uh oh. Now Dill has to make a kill happen. Now, he can probably kill Greninja by accident at this percent. Also, he can just kill him with up throw, I'm pretty sure. Even, oh, uh, yep, see, that's an accident in my opinion. And now, actually, <sighs> Benio only did like 33 when he came back. That's pretty much nothing. Now he's pushing some more advantage, so, you know, he's got to make it happen to like really for, uh, solidify a lead. But right now, we're still in like somewhat even territory. So Dill's going to get some damage unless he just whiffs. I'm all about that. Great tech read. That, oh, that was actually so good. Okay. Whoa. Oh, dude, Venia is just staying like pixels out of Dill's space. He, like the blind spot that Rob has, like where, where he's like trying to make something happen and like just he's right outside. So he looks like he's right on him, but it's just like he's, he's visually right next to him, but there's not much he can do. All right, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not even sure if Dill died from that down uh, from that air dodge. I think he may have just forfeited. Not actually super sure. But so Venya gonna get rid of Lilat and PS2. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Was it no gas for sure? Because I can see that too. None left. All right. Oh, and we got the classic. Uh, Dill is uh, gone. There he is. He's back. He had to go get his water. I don't know how he doesn't just bring his water with him. He does this so much. But, you know. Uh, stay hydrated, guys. And, you know, remember to hydrate your streamers. We're here all the time. And I'm actually dying. I need someone to bring me water. <laughs> all right. Dill really thinking about it. Looking skeptical as hell, as always, when he's drinking his water bottle from a loss. He's just like, hmm, where do I want to go? Hmm. And we're going to go to Battlefield. All right. Yeah, uh, just going right back to the stage that they agreed on in the first game. Uh, I didn't notice the smoke. All right, good catch, guys. Yeah, so he was definitely out of up B. He had, no, he had the smoke. He was just, he's breaking down. Yeah, so we're going back to Battlefield. Uh, you know, it worked out. It was pretty even, though. And like I said, like, when when Dill landed that kill with the gyro, it kind of looked like, oh, this is working out. Oh. So it was, like, by only circumstance. So, like, obviously it's something that he's always going to try and make happen. But, you know, maybe see the venue will be a little bit more aware of it. We didn't even see anything close to any sort of setups in game, one, uh, game two anyway. So now... Benya taking a really good control of the stage. Uh, not giving Dill any breathing room. Uh, now this is the types of percentages where like he has to like kind of read something uh, to kill him. You know, Rob is a heavy boy. So even if he gets like some of those situations where he can reset him, uh, he's not guaranteed to kill him. And this is the time where Rob can bring it back, you know. And he is, you know. Percents are definitely closing up the gap. And uh, Dill doing that every time. 
he did immediate up. He did immediate uh, get up attack. I'm not really sure why he would do that, and I don't know. I don't know what Venya was looking out for to recover low like that. I feel like he could have went around, but okay. Either way, uh, all that work Venya did that first stock erased. Now Dill is actually winning uh, in stock two. This is crazy. I say winning, but it's pretty dead even actually. Oh look, he's gonna do it again. Oh look, he got hit for it. Dill, sometimes just grab the ledge. You gotta make them think about it sometimes, bro. Ooh, wow. Something about like, always gets me is like when you air dodge off stage, but then you grab the ledge, it just looks so weird. All right. He dodged into the ledge from the top part, so I don't think he had much two frame window or any, depending on like how it was timed or whatever. Either way, he was able to dodge the, the down smash. And we got some early percents. Oh my God, Dill, he's doing it again. Benny are reading it, but uh, didn't get there fast enough. And the laser is a big, big hitbox. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was kind of like a really silly situation. He just wouldn't let him off. So it was like really great pressure by Dill. Although I feel like uh, it was a little bit of stubbornness from Venia's side where like if he had just wanted to get back on stage instead like he wanted to come back with some sort of button or whatever, if he had just gone back on, I think he would might have been able to relinquish that situation. I could be wrong though, because like Dill's edge guarding is actually OD. Uh, but yeah, Venya able to s get out that second stock, and uh, we're still at that that you know that percent where it's still fairly even. You know, it's just a string away from like making something happen. You know, 60 like this game is filled with like 50, 40, 60 percent combos, and like as you can see, like one interaction halfway there, second interaction three quarters there. Uh oh. I respect the read. He could have made it like, you might as well like see if you can end the game right away. You know, he also didn't get hard punished for it. So, uh, you know, really good situational awareness by Venya. But you know, if you try, if you show your hand too early, sometimes you'll be like, okay, now, you know, there's the, the concept of the no mix mix where like if he does it again or he reads that he's gonna roll, then he'll stand and that might be it. <gasps> Rob, you heavy boy, what the hell? Okay. Oh, I like that. Dill did the up uh, the up air early because he knew that he was gonna be, be flown up. Okay, now it's out. He did that up that up air early because he knew he'd have been slingshotted upward. But all right, so Venia advancing, uh, two one over Dill.